We are no strangers to video because the Xeon platforms uh, have been gold standard for video processing for a long time. In fact, practically every software stack for video processing is first implemented on Xeon. Uh, and, uh, uh, but these new use cases demand uh, new hardware acceleration, right? Because they are real time and AI. So I think the real game changer is that it's real time and it's 3D. Are we ready for that? Do we have solutions? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So we've been, you know, working on, uh, you know, the, a new GPU that covers all these use cases. So up until now, all these workloads uh, have been delivered by multiple hardware solutions. Right? You have uh, a GPU for rendering. You have an AI analytics accelerator, encoding decoding accelerator. So we have combined all of this into this one Intel data center GPU. This, uh, you know, four different use cases that our customers are uh, building uh, data centers for. Um, so this is the Intel's uh, data center uh, GPU, and it... Did, did we give it a name? Intel's data center GPU. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, but did I hear this right? So this is basically a data center. I mean, this is, this has it all in it, one it, product. It, it has it all, and uh, it runs, uh, the same software stack that already exists on Xeon. Okay. Right. Um, and uh, you know, and, and that's actually the beauty of our one API strategy. Uh, from on day one, uh, we have broad support for all popular media APIs, frameworks, uh, latest codecs. Um, and in fact, this is the industry's first AV1 uh, hardware encoder, um, hardware accelerated. Uh, so that is a huge thing because it's a huge TCO advantage because uh, AV1 brings you much, uh, a, you know, higher quality at lower bit rate, uh, right? So you can, uh, you're transmitting uh, lower bits of data for getting the same quality. Okay. Right. Um, so it's one mighty GPU and a lot of qualitative assessment here from Raja, but let's geek out a little bit. Give us some of the specs, please. Yeah, so, uh, you know, there are a ton of specs to talk about, but the, the key ones, right, you, uh, you can stream uh, 40 plus 1080p game streams on just a single card, right? So it's like 40 simultaneous users uh, can get access to this card. Um, we have over 150 uh, trillion operations per second AI processing horsepower. So you can, while d doing that streaming, you can also do media analytics, understand what's in the in the video. Uh, we have uh, uh, a you know 32 x C cores with full ray tracing acceleration, so you can render some pretty high quality streams as well. Um, 62 virtual instances for you know, the folks who are looking at, uh, you know, VMware and Citrix installations. We have the XMX AI accelerator engine built in as well. So lots of uh, exciting specs. Like I said, this is a, a, a media supercomputer on a single chip that we have integrated. That is great. So I'm sure our customers want it, and they probably want it soon. So when can they have it? Yeah, so uh, we are rolling this out to your customers next quarter. So okay, so we're 